Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Nafula. If you've not subscribed to my channel, I highly recommend that you subscribe. But if you've already subscribed to my channel, I just want to say thank you for subscribing and thank you for watching my videos. So this first video of 2023, I'll be talking about a very important component of the green card application process, and that is your photo. Another requirement involves like, you know, headphones. Some people, you know, they love people have like, you know, ear pods and all that stuff. So, you know, people walk around with them. So they're not allowed like in a picture, like if you're taking a DVLR picture, remove those headphones. You don't need that. You can remove for like a few minutes until you take the picture and then you can put them on. Sometimes if you're wearing like, you know, hearing device, like hearing aid, something like you actually cannot like take off. Those ones probably you can get away with like, you know, taking a picture with them. But other than that, headphones, stuff like that, stuff in your ears, make sure like, you know what, uh, they don't appear in the picture. And also I recommend like, you know what, like if you're taking a picture and it's straight, make sure like, you know, you can see both your ears. Like I said, like, you know, in my earlier videos, I have small ears. So like, you know, it's hard sometimes to see them or whatever like that. But then just make sure like, you know, when you're looking uh, straight at the, uh, you know, camera, like at least you can see your ears. I know some people f have flat ears. Um, and I can tell you there's a, there's a DV lottery winner um, who actually put something behind the ear so that they can pop. He won, but I don't know if like putting something um, behind the ear helped. But then like literally they, if they take a picture, their ears are flat. So they had to put something behind the ear to make them like, you know, pop out a little bit, you know. So if you can do whatever you need to do, but then make sure like, you know what, you're not wearing anything in your ear. And if both ears can be visible in the image, that is a plus. Another thing that cannot be worn in a picture or another requirement is like, do not wear eyeglasses. I wear eyeglasses for distance. So like, but if I have to go take a picture, like if it's for a DV lottery, I need to take those glasses off. So if like prescription glasses and all that, you need to take those off. Some people wear eyeglasses for medical reasons and they cannot take them off. Not just like prescription glasses. Like they have a medical reason behind, uh, like they cannot take their eyeglasses off. So they are, those ones can, they're allowed to wear the glasses, but then the frame of the glass should not like cover your eyes. Or maybe like if they're taking the picture and then, you know, like sometimes you take a picture and there's a glare. So that glare should not like obscure the eye. So like, I need to see, the thing is like, I think they want to see the eyes so that they can know like, you know, this, the color of the eyes. I don't know if, so they want to see your eyes. The point is like, they want to see your eyes. So anything that's, you know, if you're wearing glasses, they are either the glare is obscuring the eye or maybe uh, the frame is covering um, your eye or maybe you have shadows that are covering the eye, then uh, that's not a good picture. So make sure like, you know what, stay away from eyeglasses if you can. Just take them off. It's easier that way. But then if you have to wear them for medical reasons, just make sure like either the glare, the shadow, the frame, nothing is actually covering your eyes because your eyes should be visible uh, in the image. For the size of the picture, it should be like, you know, if you're taking like a picture, uh, it has to be like two inches by two inches. You know, the good thing about a picture that's two inches by two inches, it means like it's a square. So the picture should be a square. Why? Because if you want to adjust the size, it's easy. Because for the DV lottery requirement, the picture has to be, uh, the pixels has to be 600 and 600. So to under, to uh, just like 600 by 600, if you have, you're working with a picture that's two by two, like it's a square already. So it's going to be easier to put 600 and 600. But if your picture, like, you know, it's not two by two, two by one or whatever, you'll have a problem because when you adjust the width and the height, whatever, like it doesn't, it'll be like 700 by 800, you know, or maybe 200 by 300. Like it won't be like, it's not, it's not going to be easy to adjust like 200 by 200, 300 by 300 to 600 by 600 to what is required. So what is required for the DV lottery is a 600 by 600 pixels. So your picture should be 600 by 600 pixels, two by two. And it should be a digital image. With the, with the digital image, you know, uh, we have to have a format. So uh, the format of your picture has to be a JPEG or JPG, whatever you call it. So it has to be in that format. For example, if somebody takes your picture in the photo studio and maybe they save it in like a PDF format or maybe in another format, like it won't be able to be uploaded. They want a JPEG. So you have to make sure like this picture or this image that's being taken and saved in a digital image 
is in a JPEG format. Another requirement uh, is the size. So the size of the image should be 240 KBs or less. 240 KBs or less. What does that mean? It can be 200, it can be 50, it can be like 100, it can be 80, it can be like 120, it's still less than 240 KBs. So the picture needs to be less than 240 KB. So don't ask me in the comment section, is 50 KBs okay? Yes, it's less than 240 KBs. Don't take a picture that's over 240 KBs because then you get into a problem. Like sometimes you're uploading the picture and then it's saying like this picture is in whatever, whatever. Like people who apply last year experienced that. And some, some of them, they fix the problem by actually using an image that was less than 240 KBs. So we'll do that. And also, uh, like I said, if you subscribe to my channel, I'll be doing videos before the DV lottery opens. Uh, October to November so I'll be uh, uploading more videos showing you even how to use a photo tool so if you need to edit your picture to meet the requirement I'm not gonna go into I don't have time to show you how to edit change the date and do all that I don't have time to do that but if you want to watch you can watch my videos from last year but then like this year I recommend the easiest way just go to a studio and take a picture have a picture taken the reason why I'm doing this video early is like if you have kids and they're heading to school, make sure you take their picture before they go to school because it will be within six months. So make sure you take their picture so that in case you win, you don't want to leave your kids behind because you didn't add them on their initial application. So make sure that you are taking your spouse's picture, your kid's picture, and everybody's picture. And I know you have questions regarding marriage and whatever. We have a whole month. So I'll be covering all that. So all you need to do is to keep an eye on if I upload a video, go ahead and watch the video to see what requirement I'm going to be covering. I can't answer all the questions in one video, so I'll do multiple videos. So just make sure you stay tuned. So now let me cover situations where maybe you took a, a picture and then you need to retake it. Like maybe you took a picture within the last six months, but then you need to take another picture. One of the reasons is maybe you are a little bit bigger, like maybe, you know, some, sometimes you had like, you know, you were overweight and then your face was like a round and then uh, maybe you had surgery or you were on some, you know, medication, you lost a significant amount of weight and then now you look skinny and then your face looks a little bit different. Then you'll need to take another picture uh, for the DV lottery. Another thing like, you know, for America, usually in Africa, not so much, but in America, people have like, you know, they have like, you know, gender transitions and stuff like that. So somebody who was a woman becomes a man or somebody who was a man becomes a woman. Now they have like, you know, uh, if they didn't have beards, now they have beards. So in those situations, like you will need to get another picture. Another reason, like, you know, somebody did not have a tattoo in the face. Now they have a tattoo in the face. Then they'll need to take uh, another picture or maybe, uh, they had tattoos and now they went and erased them. So now they look, the face is different. They will need to take another picture uh, in that case. So that's the situations where you need to retake it again so that you can, like, you know, it looks like it's the same person. Uh, some people sometimes also, like if you've had like surgery, maybe something happened to you, you're in an accident, or maybe the, you're in a fire, or maybe like, you know, you just did a lot of surgery on your face and it looks like visibly different. Then you'll need to take a picture like if you took it in the last six months but then like if anything you know has not changed and your picture is uh, taken within the last six months then you probably should be fine so i know a lot of people are out there like selling you you know they'll be like you know you need to come to me and i know all these requirements and uh, you know what i'm gonna take a perfect picture for you as much as they tell you that you shouldn't take their word for it make sure that you do your own research. Like if you watch my videos, I'm gonna put a link of the photo requirements right on this video. So you can click on that link and you can look at the photo requirements. So that when you go to the studio, you can even take the requirements with you. When they take a picture and they have a digital image before they save it, just ask them, 
can I please look at the properties on that picture? So they will pull out the properties and you can see if it's less than 240 KBs, you'll see if it's 600 and 600 pixels. You can see the size of the head, if it's like appropriate and stuff like that. You'll see the off-white background and all white background. You can see if your image is in color, look if you're facing directly at the camera, look if your facial expression is neutral. Yeah, you'll be able to look at this thing. So look at them and make sure like you, as a person who's paying for that picture is actually satisfied and as far as dv lottery uh, application is concerned only like if somebody is taking you a picture is when you need to pay actually applying for the dv lottery is free so nobody should charge you to apply for the dv lottery if you want to apply for the dv lottery yourself you can do it if you want somebody to to pay somebody to do it for you that's okay but just know that me applying for you and you doing it yourself is not going to make much of a difference when it comes to winning. DV lottery is just as the name goes. It's a lottery. So you can either win or not. So either you apply anywhere in the world, the chances of winning are still the same. If I apply for you, a lot of people are like, apply for me. You have luck and stuff like that. It doesn't work that way. It's a computer. So once all the entries are in and they run the numbers and the winners are pulled, it does not matter who applied for you. Once you get in there, it's a random selection. So if you want to apply, you can apply. Also, if you want to you know, pay somebody else to actually do it for you, that's perfect too. If you're paying for them to do a picture, that's perfect because now you know the requirements and you can actually follow up on the properties and make sure that you're getting uh, the correct picture that's it for today but what i'm gonna say is i'm gonna be showing you pictures for actual winners i'll show you my pictures all but let's still pull it up my brother pictures all i'm still gonna pull it up but then like you know i have people who you know they've won the green card lottery in just recent years that i have access to their pictures and they they said it's okay for me to use their pictures i'll show you the images they used to win the lottery so that like when you're looking at the image when you're going to the DV lottery site, you just see pictures of random people there. But then this one's the pictures that I'm going to show you and the ones will be even analyzing. These are pictures from actual DV lottery winners from Africa, from where you're from. So like when you look at the picture, you'll be like, hey, I can relate with that because it's an actual image of somebody who actually won the green card lottery. Also, if you stay on my channel, you'll have interviews with those people and they'll answer your questions. Like a lot of people are, should I apply the first day? Should I apply the last day? Should I apply the middle? What is the best day to apply? We'll get these people and they will tell us when they applied, what date, if they can remember what week, did it make a difference? Did it not make a difference? So that way you understand the actual process, the whole thing about the DV lottery. And for that, bye for now. See you in my next video. Thanks for watching.